Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, let's start working on the materials for this guy. We've got this UV test material on him now, and we don't really need that. What I'd like to do is sample the colors off of that drawing I did. So I'm just going to create a new window over here and go to the UV image editor, and there he is right there. So I'd like to just sample the colors off of this. I, I kind of like the colors I chose here, so I'm going to use these. Now I'll select the character and come over here to the materials panel and currently we have that UV test but I don't need it right now so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new material we can just call this I'll just call this green this is gonna be his green portion of his uniform I'll just get rid of this for now we can remove that out of there and this material I want to make this green so I'll select this hit the eyedropper, and then just select that green from there. Now we can't see it here right now. We could change from texture to material, and we could see it there. Now let's create the color for this material here. It's kind of a purplish gray. I've got it more purple than gray here, but that's okay. I'm going to tab into edit mode, and I better go back to solid view. And in the modifiers panel over here, I'm going to turn on this edit cage button right here so the edges conform to the smoothed object. And I'll go to face mode and I'll just begin selecting some of these faces. Now I'm just going to press the L key and see what I get. Well, there you go. That's not too bad. That's pretty much what I wanted. So what let's do is go back to the materials panel. And let's create a new material slot right here. Let's create a new material in that slot. And we'll call that, uh, should I call it gray or purple? I don't know. I'll call it purple. It's really more purple, isn't it? And then I'll change the color. I'll grab that eyedropper, sample the color. And then I'll come up here to assign, to assign that color to the selected faces. And there we go. Now, if we go back to materials, we can see that we've got that assigned. So let me go do that over here. I'll hit the L key to select these, and I'll just select this material slot and click assign. And there we go. All right, let's do the material for the belt here. We'll just add a new material slot. Click new to create the material for that slot. We'll call this uh, belt and we'll sample that color off of the drawing too. Click the eyedropper and sample this right here. And then let's go in and assign that to the belt. So I'll just hover over here and press the L key to select these pieces. And once all those are selected, I'll just click assign to assign that to there. Now let's work on the boots. We've got a couple of different colors for the boots here. So we'll tab into edit mode. And it looks like I've got slightly different colors for the top rim of the boot. So maybe I could alt click an edge between these two faces and then press the control plus keys and expand that selection on up to just right to the edge there. And let's create a new material for this. I'll create a new material slot, a new material, call it uh, boot brown. Let's change the color here, and let's click Assign. So there we go. Now we can select this part of the boot. I'll press Alt and click between two faces and control plus and expand the selection on down new material slot new material i'll call this a uh, boot trim and let's select that color here there we go and now let's assign that to those selected faces all right now for this area of the boot right here i can just press the l key to select it come back to the boot brown and hit assign. 
The way I have it here is these pieces are all the same color. It almost seems more reasonable like this should be the same color as this. But I'll go with it for now. So I'll select this piece, create a new material slot, call this, uh, let's call this boot beige. How do you spell beige? B-E-I-G-E? -E. Let's try it. <laughs> I'll create the color by sampling it and then I'll click assign and there we go. For the sole of the boot I think all I need to do is come down here and select this with the L key. I'm going to create a new material slot, a new material for that slot, grab that color and assign it to that. There we go. And I'll select the boot soles here. Select that material and assign that there. Alright, so we have the general outline of the color so far. Let me grab the face up here and we'll give it a general skin color just as a temporary thing. I'll go ahead and create a new material slot and a new material. We'll call this skin and I'll go ahead and sample this color here since I have it. There we go and I'll assign it. Uh, looks like I need to grab that inner mouth in here. So I'll hit the L key to select that. I'll create a whole new material slot and material We'll call this inner mouth. And for this we can just kind of give it a deep red for now. There we go. And assign that. And also I'll select the teeth with the L key. There's the top. Looks like I can get to the bottom right down here. We select those. Let's go ahead and create a material slot and a material for that. and we'll just give it a plain white. There we go. And these little doohickeys up here, here are the colors we need for those. So I'll select these three objects here. I'm gonna change this to normal and that'll allow me to select all of these instead of the selection being broken up by the seam. And this color kind of feels like the same thing as the boot trim, but just in case I need another color or type of material, I'm going to go ahead and create a new material slot. And we'll call this um, antenna orange. And I'll sample the color once again and assign it. Alright, so far so good. We've got all the basic materials assigned. Now we need to figure out what we're going to put textures on. And I think I'm going to try and use image textures for the logo as well as for the black stripes on the tunic part and on the gloves. And I think I'm also going to try a texture for that shape on the belt. So in the next video, we're going to begin working on those. I'll see you then. Blender fans assemble. It's time to create Captain America's motorcycle using hard surface modeling techniques in Blender. In this online course, you'll learn the tools and processes of modeling a complex, realistic vehicle. We'll use reference images taken of the motorcycle from the first Captain America movie on display at the Harley Davidson Museum. We'll build the bike up from the frame, assembling each piece using different blender tools along the way. And we'll even go over setting up materials and lighting for a final render. This course is available at Blender101.com, where you'll also get my Blender Scene Creation course, the course that takes you through the entire process of creating an animated scene in Blender from the first polygon to the final rendered movie. 
And if you're just starting out with Blender, you'll also get the course Blender 101 Introduction to 3D Modeling, an in-depth course that covers the fundamentals of modeling in Blender. And at Blender101.com, you get new courses and projects every month. So join me as we create Captain America's motorcycle at Blender101.com. It's Blender for everyone. <laughs>